Alright, what's this puzzle? Here's a room full of parrots, each with a, wearing a hat. Each parrot needs a partner wearing the same hat. Draw a line with the stylus to match each parrot with a corresponding partner. The lines cannot intersect. Aw, oh, fuck. Touch previously drawn lines to remove them. Oh, good lord. These all look the fucking same! Ugh! Oh, all the hats look the same! What? So, you do this? Oh, wait a minute, I'm stupid. I'm doing it on the wrong screen. How exactly was this hard? I mean, it said match the hats, right? I'm not, I'm not doing this wrong. This, is this has, is this, is this this easy? There's nothing hard about this, unless, unless I'm going about it the wrong way. I mean, does this, is this correct or what? I'm so afraid to hit submit. I have no idea. I, uh, I'm matching the. Am I matching the parrots or the hats? I'm so confused. What am I doing? I'm just saying submit. Fuck this. This is my answer. That was it. Professor, I did it. That was the easiest puzzle in the game so far. That was so easy. It was deceptively easy. <laughs> what the hell? There we are, Bodley. You've got lots of parrots to choose from. Now you won't have to perform by yourself anymore. Two. Two? Too many parrots! What? There seem to be too many adorable parrots to choose from. I cannot decide which I want. I want them all to sing with me. Now that is something I would pay to see. <laughs> Alright, let's get out of here. Alright, where are we headed here? To here, okay. This place is so different during the day. It's absolutely bustling. Vegetable vendors, tailor shops, bazaars. There are lots of different shops all over the place. It looks like this must be the marketplace. A marketplace? That sounds fun. How about we take a look around while we check for clues? Uh, but Mr. Roy, we have to make sure we focus on the investigation as well, okay? Wow, Luke is super serious. Huh? Uh, Mr. Roy, look! Isn't that Mr. Knightley and Miss Mary standing over there? Oh yeah, now that you mention it, Espella did say that Miss Mary's farm is somewhere around here, didn't she? I don't see any knights around anywhere. I wonder what Knightley's doing here. Alright, let's find out. Uh, Mr. Knightley, is that you? What are you doing around here? It's so not obvious, I'm selling potatoes. I, I see. Now he started drinking. I shall never forget that fateful day, that fateful with trial. Truth is, the following morning I had my entrance exam to join the Order of Knights. Is that right? But the night of that trial, what happened in that courtroom? Ugh. Oh, that was also the night you made me a complete laughing stock. And not only that, because you dragged the trial so late to the night, I overslept. So, you must have ended up being late to your exam, huh? That's totally not my fault. Um, well, good luck on the next exam, Mr. Knightley. I've abandoned such a title. Huh? I live, eat, and breathe potatoes now. Potatoes all my life. The journey of the potato seller is a long and arduous one. You may now address me as Spudley. Alright, Spudley. I'll take two potatoes, please. You have my thanks, Sir Blue Knight. 
Wow, poor Spudley. Fresh milk! Fresh milk of Labyrinthia! You won't find a bargain like this anywhere else! Oh, we meet again. Are you here to purchase some of my fine milk? Oh, I'm afraid not. Sorry. We're, we'll be able to pick some up next time. Anyway, you didn't happen to see any knights come by here, did you? Knights? No, not today. Speaking of which, I heard there was a big to-do over at the witch trial last night. You wouldn't have something to do with that now, would you? No, 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 uh, we didn't do a thing, did we, Luke? That, that's right, uh, we didn't do anything, honest. Well, okay, that's a relief. We wouldn't want Mummy's little milk muffin getting all spooked because of your antics now, would we? Yes, ma'am. We'll, uh, be careful not to spook your little milk muffin. <laughs> it seems like the knights haven't been looking for us here. I guess not. I'd really like to stick around and see what other information we can find around here. But the only other people around here look a little shady, if you ask me. All the more reason we should ask. I'm sure they've heard all sorts of rumblings out there. This fellow must be a nervous wreck waiting for us to get back with some information. We can't go back empty-handed, right? You're right. Well then, let's get back on the case. How about we try looking over there, Mr. Wright? Oh, cutscene. Hold on. There we go. Oh shit, what the hell? What on earth was that? It's a kind of explosion. What do you think it was? No, someone had gas. <laughs> what, what could have exploded like that? Uh, Luke, are you all right? Y yeah, I'm fine. How about you, Mr. Wright? Yeah, I I think I'm okay, considering. Yeah, I only lost one testicle. I still have the other. <laughs> That's a relief. What could have caused that explosion? At all places, right in the middle of the marketplace. Mr. Roy, do you think, could a witch have done this? We know they could summon fire and turn people into gold. There's no doubt about it. This has to be the work of magic. I agree. At least, I'm sure it seems likely. We should investigate the area of the blast. Let's go, Mr. Roy. I'm sure we'll find something that'll give us a, re a lead regarding the witches. Right. And if we come across anyone injured, let's give them a hand, all right? In that case, how about we split up? I'll go and check that side over there. Sheesh. What do I do here? I don't know what to do. Talk to them? Why, why, why? Why must the fates conspire against me? I failed to become a knight, and now look at my potatoes, they're all baked. Every last one of them. Who would ever buy a baked potato? <laughs> whoa, 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 calm down, knight, uh, Spudley. Knightly is dead. Spudley is no more. Oh, cruel fate, oh, storyteller. Please, tell me what, what, what should I do now? Hey now, come on, Spudley, your potatoes are just a little baked, they're still good. Here's an idea. Why don't you just give yourself a temporary name until you decide what you should do? Well, then that's it. After all, what is a man? Huh. Henceforth, I shall be known as Ever Pondering Sir Whatley. Identity crisis averted. Let's get going, Luke. Okay. Oh, dear. Why do all the strangest things always happen on this side of town? Always happen? Miss Mary, did something else happen here? Isn't it obvious? This area was perfectly peaceful before you started trying to defend every witch out there. You do remember the incident with Robs and Bugs, don't you? Oh yeah, that happened right around here, didn't it? Yes, yeah, right on the footpath that leads to the courthouse through the forest. You know, I've just remembered something rather strange. What's that? Just before the blast, I saw a bright spark on the ground. A bright spark? Truth be told, I noticed the same thing back when those flames erupted too. 
So you saw a spark of light on the ground? Yes, yes, I definitely saw it. I definitely saw a spark on the ground. And you say this was before the explosion. Could it have something to do with magic? I'm afraid I couldn't say. Snowy and I will be staying far, far, far away from this mess. We're not getting dragged into any trials. Now I have to get back to the farm. I have to go and protect my precious little lovelies. Oh boy. I see the crazy goat lady is still as crazy as ever. 